Hello everyone! In the last video we created a surface of a lamp like this. Now we are going to uh, create some more complicated geometries using the same file but working with different parameters to come up with some ideas like this. Uh, so if I want to get close to some of those uh, patterns, like that one or number 5 to 8, I need to randomize the radius uh, of that cut geometries. You remember that the radius of the cut geometries comes from here. We had a sign 0 0.03. If I change it to like 0 0.04 and run this, uh, the circles are going to be larger, so the polygon which is inscribed within the circle is also going to be larger. If I want to assign a randomized number to the radius, uh, I need to go with a different value, so I need to delete this. I need to assign a list to the radius, so I need to create a list. I need to use math.random or randomize. Uh, I also need like a number slider to let Dynamo know how many items do I want. Let's say I want to go with like a minimum of 30 to a maximum of 80 with a step size of 1. This goes to my item. Item goes to a list. List goes to amount. And if I run this, you see that we have 30 items here. I also need to flatten them uh, because now it's like a list within a list, but I don't need a list within a list. So I need to type flatten here. And mass is connected to the list flatten. Now if I run this and if I pin these two items. You see that this is a list within a list, but the second one is one single list. So this is good. I can connect this uh, to my radius just to show you what happens first. You see it couldn't create uh, objects because the numbers are too big. Look at the numbers. They're between 0 and 1. That means some of them are as large as 1 meter. So I need to actually divide those values by a number larger than 1. I can use a number slider. Uh, let's say it has to be bigger than 2 and it can go as high as like 30 or 20. This can go to my Y. Maybe I could put it on like 15. But the value which comes out of the flatten list goes to my x. It's divided by some bigger number and then it's going to be assigned to the radius. So now let's see how it works if I run this. You see now uh, the objects which are cut out of the surface have different size. I want to group these items as uh, randomized numbers. Uh, so it's getting better. Let's say if I want to go with a pattern like this, it's actually two sets of circles on top of each other uh, and this first set of circle is rotated by 180 degrees to get the second one. So I want to change this number slider from 6 to 3 to come up with the first set of circles. Run. If I want to get close to this one, I actually need to um, randomize the rotation of the circles on the surface as well before I go with a star shape like this. So uh, I need to actually rotate the polygons. Uh, I want to go to rotate. geometry, polygon goes to geometry, uh, the origin of the rotation is the same as the origin 
of the um, circles, which is this point that goes to origin. Uh, the degrees are going to be some randomized numbers. We already have a set of randomized numbers, but they are all between 0 and 1. If I multiply those random numbers by a value which is much larger, such as like uh, 500, Now you see this set of numbers can actually be the degrees or I can go with like 1000, right? So I want to assign this set of numbers uh, which are already flattened to my degrees of rotation. And finally we need to assign the axis. Uh, this time the axis of rotation is either X or Y, so I want to bring one Y axis, assign it to the axis, and this goes to uh, curve extrude, run. Now you see that we have actually randomized triangles over there. You can control the size. If I reduce this number slider to like 10 and run this again, uh, the size of the triangles are going to be bigger. Okay, so now we are getting close to this pattern. If I want to create that star shape, I also need to rotate each of those triangles by 180 degrees on top of itself. So let's do that. I need to go with rotate geometry. The geometry that I want to rotate is the triangles. The origin is the same origin that we had before for the first circle that goes to origin. The degrees this time is just 180 that goes to the degrees and the axis is the same that we had for the last rotation. So Y goes to the axis and uh, now I also need to uh, assign this to the curve. See what happens if I assign this one to the curve instead? They're gonna rotate by 180 degrees. Now I want both uh, set of these items, uh, the first rotation and the second rotation, so I want to actually go with a union and I want to go with solid union. I need to uh, use this same node again. This time I want to use this curve to go uh, to the curve extrude as solid. If I connect both my solids to union solid, then I assign this solid to what I have here. Uh, it should consider both set of rectangles which are going to create some actually star-shaped geometries. Uh, I can hide this remove the preview uh, and it seems that uh, I need to continue a couple more stars uh, because at the top you do not have enough cuts so let's see we have 43 numbers here and the randomized number is on 40 so this should be also unlike 43 or a higher number and now we have enough cuts here Right. If you think the first one is too close to the ground, uh, if you remember we had an option to move them a little bit higher. I can move this like by 7 centimeters, run. They're going to move a little bit higher and now it seems all good. And the last step is to just assign some thickness to the surface of the lamp. So I'm going to go with thicken. This is a surface. I can go with thicken surface. Maybe I want to thicken that by like 2 centimeters. That goes to the thickness, that goes to the surface. And I need to run Dynamo. There we go. If you want to import this into Revit, you can type import, import by geometry or import by geometries because this is only one single solid. You can go with singular and that's about it.